Hey everyone, how are you all doing? In the last episode, guys, we spent the day at sea where we did a lot of things on the boat and then we finished the night off here in the piano bar. But don't worry, in this episode, this is going to be a special one where I'm going to show you guys two separate points of view as we land in Grand Turk. Now, my point of view will have the camcorder recording screen as a border. Guys, this is going to be a two-part series, starting with part one. But first, I would like to take this time and thank everybody who has either liked our videos or subscribed. It really means a lot. Guys, today is the day where my brother Michael is getting married on Grand Turk. We don't have much time to waste. If you like our videos, please help support us by clicking that like button. So we eat breakfast, get dressed, and get off the ship. There you go. Hey! Mike and Holly's wedding. Nice. And the water is amazing. It's such a beautiful day. At this point, guys, I would like to now introduce to you my brother Michael, the groom, as he is also shooting this exact moment with his GoPro as well. From here, guys, we have to get going. So we hurry our way through the beautiful port of Grand Turk to hop on a bus to meet our tour guide who's going to take us to the wedding. Hey mom, let's get a photo with you and Mike. Probably fine, just step back a bit. Now guys, for the rest of the video, I will not be talking, as you guys are going to listen to Rudy explain the Turks and Caicos to us. I hope you guys enjoy it just as much as we did. Now remember, we still have two point of views going. When you see the camcorder, we are looking at my point of view. Guys, let me know in the comments below if you like the two POVs. Education is free, healthcare 
here is free milk, $9 per gallon for milk. But for me, ladies and gentlemen, I don't drink milk because I'm lactose tolerant. <laughs> what I drink is beer because it's only two dollars per bottle. <laughs> and of course, I'm a big boy now, so my mama won't give me no more milk. <laughs> Good for me, Carolina. That's not cool. <laughs> for over a hundred years, the islands are governed by Jamaica. When Jamaica gained independence in 1962, the island go over to the Bahamas. When the Bahamas gained independence in 1973, the island were self-governed for three years. So since 1973, we form our own legislative council, where we have a governor to represent the Queen, and a chief minister to represent the Prime Minister of England. To my right, we are now viewing the widest section of our beautiful island, which is the, the runway of the International Airport. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are now viewing one of our semi-wild animals. You, you, can, you, you, you can call him Trek, Donkey, Jackass, whichever name you are correct. Yes. Yes, I'm not. No, you're not. I'm Rudy. Coming up to my right, we are now approaching the Red Roof building, which is um, one of our government offices, Labor Tribunal and Immigration Department. But for me, ladies and gentlemen, as long as I see a red roof building, the first thing comes to my mind is either pizza or their KFC. And of course, we have none of those above on this island. Maybe you're wondering, why is it really driving on the wrong side of the road? It's because today is my first day at the job. <laughs> and tomorrow I go for my driver's license. But what I, what I do have is my doctorate, which is my PhD. And my PhD means pothole dodger. So in the pothole we didn't get to dodge, that's a complimentary butt massage. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we will be, your wedding will be taking place at the Astro Beach Resort. Do we have any dogs on this island? Yeah, we, 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 yeah, as we finish our day in Grand Turk, watching my brother get married, and then we get back on the Vista for the rest of the night. Please feel free guys to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more. And I appreciate all the support we've gotten recently, and it's all because of you guys.